How's it going everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video what I'm going to be doing is showing you my completed Fatal team, discussing who I'm going to be playing in the first round of Fatal and we're going to be watching a little bit of Bateson's draw video as well if you guys didn't see that. I'll leave the link to Bateson's channel and everyone else's channel in the description down below who is competing in Fatal of course as we always do and uh, we'll be discussing my opponent who by the way may or may not be a very very big youtuber so this is going to be a lot of pressure on me but hopefully we can come away with the win uh, and i'm going to be discussing how i plan on winning as well because i've got you know i've got a few tricks up my sleeve and we've got a pretty nice team so uh let's uh, let's jump right into it now if you didn't know chani actually drew all of the names i'm going to turn this down a little bit more actually just so you can hear me for now so uh chani drew all the names chani's another youtuber if you don't know i talked to chani quite a lot so uh, it's pretty cool that he drew all the names and I believe my name is, uh, is well, mine and my opponents are literally the last two names to be picked. So, yeah, there's DJ Mario. I think this is where we are right now. So, uh, I'll be quiet. Game. The last two, why am I even shaking this? Doesn't make any sense. Uh, we have Haber, my buddy. Haber, good luck, my dude. Who are you getting as your opponent? I can't even remember. I think we are missing. Oh, I'm not too sure. I actually want to see. Only one person you're missing. Oh, yes, of course. Castro. Castro 1021 is uh, is who we are playing now. Uh, if I quickly sk skip to this screen and show you. I'm against Castro. Maverick is playing Zway. Last is against Kazooie. It's Wolfie versus Atani. Clutch against uh, Mikel. Bateson against Marshall. Tony MC versus David Myler. Catcher versus DJ Mario. And me versus Castro 1021. Interesting. Now, Castro is a very good player. Castro has been hitting elite. Castro has been hitting, I think he hit top 100. I believe he got like 28 and 2, but got two like ridiculous DCs. I think one of them he got DDoSed in as well. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a very tough game. A very tough game. Not to mention, I don't even play on Xbox. So, it's going to be already tough. I think Castro also plays on PlayStation. So, for both of us, it's going to be quite tough. Um, it's interesting as well. I wonder what the connection is going to be like is one thing. I, I'm wondering what the connection is going to be like. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Bateson decided that he thought to, he wanted to roast me in this video. I believe it's like here. Okay. Um, Catcher is probably seen as a snacking boy um, for a lot of people. And then the final pitch to guys is Haber versus Castro. Now, Castro, don't know. Don't know. I think Haber's not that good. Uh, but not that good. Can hold me back, Bateson. I'm not a top 100 player. All right, and I'm not even an elite player yet. I finished on 22 like three weekends in a row because I can't break that 23 barrier. I just can't. However, I perform way better in online friendlies than I do in foot champs and div rivals because it's way like it, it's like one game. It doesn't like there's no mental pressure. You don't have to rely on your mental capacity in one game, but you do for like when you're playing 10 in a row. So. Don't count me out. Anything can happen in the game of FIFA. Of course, we have a home and away game. It, one will be on my channel, one will be on Castro's channel. And, uh, you know, Castro's not even uploaded episode 4 yet. So, uh, we're going to struggle here. But uh, we'll, see, we'll, see, we'll see what happens. I do want to show you guys my team and discuss my tactics for the game, though. I'm excited to play Castro because, you know, views. Um, <laughs> no, but I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it because this is my first fail. And I'm, I'm looking forward to... Um, to, to see what it's like, to see what the, the pressure is like and how I deal with the pressure, etc. And how I play against a player that is used to getting elite all the time. Don't know what Castro's team looks like and I don't want to know yet. I want that to be a surprise. I'm guessing it's going to be a god squad because you wouldn't expect anything else from Castro realistically than a god squad. So we'll see. We'll see how it is. So, we have my completed Fatal Team. Now, you guys voted on Ramos and Juan Fran and Inform Richarlison as my super sub. So, these are my super subs and this is my starting 11. It's a very interesting starting 11. I'm not a big fan of Rashford. However, Bale is incredible. I've lost about 100k on him, so hooray. I'm very happy about that. Um, but no, this is what the team is currently looking like and it's a really nice team. I'm happy with it. I've play played a few practice games with it and it's a solid team. I'm hoping Harry Kane can do the business against Castro because... He's, he's great up top. He's very, very good. Um, and I'm hoping that he can do the business. Now, we've got Courtois in net. Uh, we've got Juan Fran at right back. This SPC Juan Fran looks so good, and I'm excited to use him a little bit more. We've got Sergio Ramos at centre back. I've played one game with him so far. First time I've ever used him in any FIFA, and he feels strong. Uh, I say any FIFA, this FIFA. I used him a lot last year. His team of the, team of the year version, especially. Uh, he feels really strong, though. Then we've got Rafael Varane, who is incredible, feels incredibly strong. Um, we've got Ben Mendy, who's a bit meh. You know, he's not amazing. Uh, I might have to, like, shuffle the team around a little bit to get rid of Ben Mendy in game. 
Um, we've got Casemiro and Kante, both incredible. Uh, Kante especially is just phenomenal. Um, they've got really similar stats as well, like really similar stats uh, in terms of like defending, passing, shooting. Uh, but then pace and dribbling and, and 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 physical is like just completely different. Now at Cam we've got Christian Eriksen, who again I've only used a few games, but is really really strong. Then we've got of course our fatal player Gareth Bale. We've got Harry Kane and we have got Marcus Rashford. Now in terms of custom tactics, I have one for the four three three four, and it's pressure on heavy touch and fast build up. This is in case we need to start crossing the ball a little bit more. We need to spread it wide. I've no idea what Castro's game tactics are. I don't know what he like plans to do or how he like plans to win the game so this is like this is the formation where like we'll change things up we've got a few cut inside you know we'll try and like cross the ball and get harry kane a few headers etc he's a target man there uh that is like the basic formation we also have a defensive formation which is the 4-2-3-1 um and that is a uh this is gonna be my, my main formation i think it's like a just a more of a defensive possession style formation. Um, and we have got Harry Kane up top, Ericsson, Bale and Rashford as cams. Rashford, of course, will be subbed off for Son as soon as we can in the 45th minute. Uh, then we've got Kante and Casemiro, Juan Fran and Ben Mendy. And then, of course, uh, Varane and Sergio Ramos on Courtois. Um, so that's how that, that formation sort of lines up. Now, this is both balanced, actually. Uh, this is going to be more of a slower build-up play. Uh, I'm going to try and, you know, break down the uh, break down the defense and absorb Castro's attack. I know Castro is a very quick attacker, so I want to try and absorb that pressure and then push it straight back in the form of maybe a counter-attack or a slow build-up. Um, of course, those two are, are definitely completely different forms of attacking, so I want to try and mix it up definitely and keep things a little bit different. Uh, in terms of my next formation, it is a 4-1-2-1-2 with fast build-up and constant pressure. If Castro is just incredibly quick build-up play uh, and very, very good, then I will switch to this. Now, is that in line? Yeah, that's actually right as well. That, yeah. Um, in this formation, we basically just play Bale and Kane up top. Bale, like, getting behind. We've got Ericsson at count, and then we've got a midfield of, essentially, we just want to try and ticky tack a football, really. Uh, constant pressure, of course, as well. To close him down as much as possible and suffocate his attacks. That is the plan there. Um, and then, as you can see, we've got getting behind the target man on our uh, on our two attackers. So, hopefully, there's, like, some one-twos being played there. Uh, in terms of my other uh, formations, we've got the 4-3-3-4, which is Ultra D. This is just the default Ultra D. I don't think I'll ever go Ultra D because I just don't play like that. But if we ever need to, then we've got this. Um, and it doesn't really... You know, it's untouched. It's unscathed. And then we have the, um, the Ultra Attacking, which is press after possession loss and fast build-up. Again, this is just completely default. Uh, I haven't met with this i don't think i'll be playing ultra attacking either because i just haven't messed with it um but that's pretty much it they're my tactics and this is the team i'm going to be facing castro with and i'm super excited for the game if i beat castro i believe i play either cacho or dj mario um that'll be interesting that that will be very interesting if i do progress through because i've seen what the comments and stuff look like especially when you play what like dj mario for example and you just get so much hate so that want to be uh, that want to be very very interesting, but no, I'm, I'm excited to play Castro. You know, I'm, I'm excited to play him. I'm excited to uh, to 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 see you know if I can progress or not. I do feel like I'm a decent player. I'm not amazing, I will say that, but I feel like getting 20 to 22 wins on average every weekend makes you somewhat of an okay player. Maybe it's just my team is really good or whatever. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's one for you guys to decide, I guess. And of course, the videos will be out as soon as we play. I think we play in the next few days, which is going to be interesting and i'll keep you guys updated via like twitter snapchat instagram all that good stuff i'll like you know keep you guys updated with how the games have gone and whatnot and if we've played so yeah i mean i'm a, I'm a bit nervous uh obviously it's been my first fatal i do want to do as well as i possibly can but that as well will depend on how i play and hopefully i do play well we'll see uh i want to thank you guys for watching this video though thank you all for the support over fatal as well greatly appreciated you guys seem to really enjoy the series uh it's actually a great series to be fair hosted by base and it's like a a really smart idea and i, I do think it's a great uh it's a great addition to the fever community so thank you all for watching and i'll see you lads later <laughs>